Hey, what's up? We have a new player on the laptop market. You have probably heard about Xido brand before, because there are many advertising articles on different websites. Today we will make real hands-on review of Xido Fieldbook Max. I have bought this laptop, so I'm going to tell the truth about it. Believe me, this laptop is not as good as it looks. It has many flaws, and I will talk about them in this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. Xido Fieldbook Max is a compact 14-inch laptop, but it comes in a large white box. There is a company logo and sticker with specifications on the front side. You can see the screen resolution is 2560 by 1440 pixels, but in fact the laptop has Full HD Plus resolution. Is this a mistake or deliberate fraud? In general, the laptop is well packed. There is also a charger, user manual and product certificate in the box. Now it's time to talk about design. At first glance, Xido Fieldbook Max looks very expensive and premium. It has full metal body, thin case, rotatable display, touch screen, and even backlit keyboard. What could be wrong with this laptop? Everything looks amazing. However, I found a big gap between the screen and the keyboard. I don't know if I did it or it was already there, but the fact is that I have been using this laptop for only one day and it's already got a big gap. This is not good. That's not even all. The daylighter, one of the hinges broken down, I cannot rotate the screen. I'm not even talking about the rotating the screen 360 degrees. I can't even open the lid to use the device as laptop. It is only the third day after I have started using this laptop and I already have a gap under the display and a broken hinge. What happens next? The laptop has a very bad build quality. How should I fix the hinge now? The laptop lid won't open and that's a big problem. Ok, let's continue the review. Xido Fieldbook Max has DC port, USB and HDMI on the left side, while on the right side there is 3.5mm audio jack, another USB, card slot and power key. The speaker is located at the bottom. I don't think that's a very good location for the speaker. The sound is muted when the laptop is on the table. The keyboard is quite comfortable, the keys are large, however, when you press the keys, the keyboard is flex. The laptop also has a touchpad, but I don't think that you need it, because there is a touchscreen. Let's talk about the display. The screen of Xido Fieldbook Max has a diagonal of 16.1 inches and Full HD Plus resolution. This is IPS panel. The main feature of the screen is touch support. Yes, you can tap on the screen, just like the tablet, it is really convenient. You don't need the mouse or touchpad. I have nothing wrong to add about the display. It is really good. Xido Fieldbook Max is a budget laptop, so it has entry-level hardware. It is ported by Intel J3355 processor with maximum clock speed of 2 GHz. There is also 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of eMMC memory. As you know, eMMC memory has a slower data transfer rate than SSD. It means that the laptop turns on and starts the application slower than the laptops with SSD memory. However, it still has good performance. The folders and apps open quickly. I even played a few simple games like Superflight Asphalt 9. I have also run some benchmarks, you can see the results on your screen. Talking about battery, it has a capacity of 5000 mA. The manufacturer promises 4-6 hours of battery life. It is true, 
I received about 4 hours while testing the laptop. The full battery charge takes about 2.5 hours. I have a very mixed experience from this laptop. From one side, it has a really good touch screen, good performance and battery for budget laptop. However, the hinge broke down after only 2 days of use. I cannot open the laptop lid anymore, not even talking about one of the main features 360 degree rotation. The build quality is very poor. I hope it is my defective laptop and you don't have the same problem. If you already have Xeta Fieldbook Max, write in comments below what do you think about it. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.